Kia ora, good evening. Protesters braved the cold in Tiana this morning to take a stand against proposed developments in Fiordland. Over 100 people lined the road to Manapuri to send a message to Conservation Minister Kate Wilkinson. Christelle Price explains. Over 100 protesters turned out in Tiana this morning to ask Conservation Minister Kate Wilkinson to reject two proposals in the area. Two ventures in the Fiordland National Park area, one a tunnel, the other including a monorail, have been approved in principle by the Minister. Protesters lined the street today to make their concerns known. We need to leave the National Park alone. We're worried about the economic impact these two projects are going to have on Tianel. We don't want people bypassing Tianel. Um, you know, it's a, it's a very uh, important issue for us here. It's Queenstown greed. It's uh, something the town doesn't need. It struggles a bit as it is, and uh, you know, we're, uh, it's just it would be a sad thing to see happen. We just feel that it shouldn't be happening at all. Should never have got past the initial stages. And personally, I feel totally betrayed by Doc. I thought they were here to protect our environment. The protest was organised by Save Fiordland, a group fighting to stop the developments. Spokesperson Daphne Taylor says she thinks both projects would have a negative impact on tourism. Tourism in Tiano depends on that World Heritage status. That's why people come to this area. But the reality is, we're not talking just Tiano, we're talking New Zealand because if, if New Zealand loses its world heritage status for this southwest corner, it will affect the whole tourism economy. The proposed Fiordland Link experience would take tourists from Queenstown to Tiano Downs and includes a 41 kilometre monorail. While the proposed Milford Dart Tunnel is an 11.3 kilometre tunnel linking the Holyford and Rootburn roads, reducing the drive from Queenstown to Milford. In the region for a tour of Doubtful Sound, Miss Wilkinson says submissions are being worked through. So quite a few submissions on both both projects, of course, and, and my department is, is working its way through those submissions. The hearings have, have been completed, so it's just a matter of them working through the process. She says the protest will have an impact on her decision. Well, I mean, I'm listening to everybody. I mean, that's the whole idea of it, isn't it? And, and, and you need to make the right decision. And, um, and it, of course, it all adds to it. Absolutely. Should the proposals get the go-ahead, Save Fiordland says they'll take their fight to court if they have to. We're now on this process of potentially taking it all to court. And so for us, those of us who have been um, trying to get things organised, that's what we have to move into now is the more formal stage of incorporating as a society so that we can apply for funding and um, go through the whole court process if need be. Miss Wilkinson could not indicate when a decision will be made. Christelle Price, South Today News.